are three particular experiences I think about when you ask the question of what experience really benefits me most in uh, teaching in the legal clinic. The first is, as a student, I was a member of the Harvard Legal Aid Bureau. And the Harvard Legal Aid Bureau were a group of students that took on uh, cases with, of poor people in Cambridge that were very similar to the type of cases I do here in legal clinic. And in that particular Harvard Legal Aid Bureau, the students were the attorneys on the case. And I loved that as a student. I loved the fact that I was just jumping into it. And I can really translate that into why it's so important for me to watch the students do their own oral arguments, write their own motions, um, argue and negotiate with opposing counsel. The second experience that I draw upon when I work in legal clinic is the experience I had as a public defender and working in a public defender office in Harlem in Manhattan. Um, basically, what that office was a really unique public defender office, very similar to the CLO here in Knoxville, in that it provided holistic representation for our clients. And so although my client might have a misdemeanor assault charge, if she also had a case in family court because the court was now trying to take away her kid because of this charge, I was representing her in family court. If Section 8 was then evicting her, I was representing her in housing court. And this is the same type of holistic representation that we do in the advocacy clinic. So that experience made me particularly well suited to feel comfortable to say to students, no, we're not just going to go into this one courtroom. We're going to go into all the different courtrooms that affect my client's life so that we can really try and problem solve for this client and put them in a better situation than they were in before they came to us. And I guess the third area that really has helped me um, think about my teaching here in the legal clinic is that I worked at NYU as a lawyering professor. And at NYU, I taught a particular co course called lawyering, where I taught students not just how to do legal research and writing, but how do you interview a client? How do you counsel a client? How do you negotiate, mediate? And thinking about how to teach students those types of skills and make it real for them and make them see the nuance in it is something that I've definitely translated into the advocacy clinic. For example, I I started a boot camp where students actually, before they even get their first client, have to run through this five-day simulation that intensely talks about interviewing and counseling theory, negotiation theory, and then puts it into practice. The professors during those five days critique them on these skills and talk to them about how this theory translates into the practice and then how well they actually did it with these fake clients that the students tell me after, while they're interviewing these clients, they think they're their real clients. Um, and so they take the boot camp really seriously. And that boot camp was really something that I was able to develop because of the experience I had in the NYU lawyering program.